Hey there and welcome back to Mass Effect. My name is Pete and today we complete the second part of Eden Prime. Last time we left off we acquired a nice pistol from some weapon smuggling farmers. We uh, also discovered that Eden Prime was overrun by Geth. Commander, it's Nihilus. And now we also see the conclusion to a grim cutscene from the last part and that would be the dead body of our Turian babysitter Nihilus. In the fire here in the back we can get some ammo upgrades, just be careful not to step into the flames because that would hurt. And now let's have a look at our deceased Turian guest. Something's moving, over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot, I'm one of you, I'm human. Well, knowing Shepard, you could also be dead. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I'm sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. So just to keep in mind, he's the weapon smuggler contact. And what other Turian? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Very interesting. So, do you have any idea where the beacon is? Because it looks like it isn't here. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. So you're either pretty smart or pretty damn lucky. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Yeah, I uh, actually like this guy. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Alright, so um, attack details first. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. You mentioned a mothership. Any info on that? Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. And I doubt you have useful information about the beacon, right? Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. And to make his miserable life a bit more miserable, you're a smuggler, right? Got anything for us? Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Well, that largely depends on what you smuggle. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Alright, let's tell Williams to calm down because that gives us two Paragon points. And also looks like the right thing to do. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Oh, Powell, I'm sorry, but I don't buy it. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, alright. There was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. 
Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. All right, glad that's over with. Let's find that beacon now. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. So that's the grenade upgrade we got by pulling a gun on him. We won't use it just yet, but I will equip it next time we go into the inventory. And now we immediately get company. So let's tell Ashley and Caden to stay back a bit, and then let's fire away at the Geth Trooper with our armor-piercing rounds. Their shield power can be a bit annoying, so for Trooper number 3 here around the corner, let's just knock him over before he can use it and then kill him on the ground. And then we can take cover behind the crate here and take out the Geth Destroyer without coming under fire. We'll just use Marksman and then hold the trigger until he falls. And then we still have a bit of Marksman left to deal with the Geth Troopers on the right. And once they're dealt with, take out the plasma container because we have to move that way as well. Now I do want Caden and Ashley to stay out of combat for this one. They will however regroup because the first fight is over. So let's quickly take cover on the back left of the cargo train and have them come up to the opposite side. And then we fire away at the Geth Troopers, which will also activate the Geth Destroyer in the back. And this one is a bit more tricky than the first one. Now, normally destroyers would sprint at us and close the distance pretty quickly. However, it seems like this guy has other plans. And now Caden and Ashley are also firing away, which in turn draws fire from the Geth. Something I actually wanted to avoid, but hey. Okay, now that we have successfully cooled down our weapon again, let's quickly put a shield boost on Ashley and then continue to focus on the destroyer. And that power there, the carnage, can be really devastating if it hits you out of cover. But now he's also in range of our abilities. And we start with the sabotage and then, yep, run at him with marksman, while also having Caden throw him to the side. I'm not that insane. Now let's have Ashley and Caden move up a bit and then continue to take shots against the Geth just to get them to use their shields early. That way, once we close in, they don't have the power anymore and things get a lot, lot easier. Then we can already close the distance a bit. Take out a trooper who drops some med gel. And then fire away at the Geth that don't have shields anymore. Let's quickly grab the med gel from the kit here, then again move up a bit and take out the remaining two troopers. Wonderful. Now Ashley and Caden will regroup. And before we activate the train controls, let's have a look what the destroyer dropped and also equip the grenade upgrade. And then we take the cargo train to the other platform. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! So the cargo platform is rigged to explode, but that isn't too much of a challenge even on Insanity. We can already disarm the first charge before getting into combat, and then we'll head up the walkway and that's where things get a bit messy. So let's use Sprint to get into the far left corner. Here we can disarm the second bomb and also tell our squad mates to take cover. That's two of four bombs disarmed already, and now let's engage the Geth. The Geth shields are a pain in the ass because they block the entire corridor, 
but we get rewarded with a level up as the first trooper falls. So let's use that to put two more points in Shepard's pistol, that also unlocks shotguns, and get his armor up a bit more. For Ashley, we continue to boost her defensive stats in combat armor and soldier. And Caden gets advanced sabotage, as well as another point in electronics. Now back to the combat where we focus on the shock trooper first. Caden's overload will take away most of his shields, and we can then take him out pretty easily. Then we can move up ahead and go for the second shock trooper. First we'll have to take cover from the carnage and then use Caden's throw on him. That will leave him pretty wide open, but on insanity difficulty we have to absolutely worry about the Geth in the back. That is a sniper who can one shot kill us on this difficulty and that is something we should avoid. So let's take the shock trooper out as he comes closer and then use the cover to our advantage to move up on the sniper. We'll hit him with a sabotage that will disable his weapon as well. And of course at that exact moment another Geth Trooper comes around the corner to spice things up. Both of them fall pretty quickly at this point and that leaves us with almost 3.5 minutes left to disarm two bombs. The first one is right next to us. And with that disarmed we can head straight for number 4 which is on the far end of the platform. So like I said even on insanity difficulty not too much of a challenge. Alright, that's all bombs disarmed, and now we can loot the crate here, that contains a medium armor, a heavy armor and some med gel, we will leave the armors be for now. And now we go into combat one last time, this time we have a nice combination of Geth troopers and husks, so taking out the ranged enemies before the husks reach us is a good strategy to avoid getting killed here. So here's the first husk coming around the corner and we'll quickly put some distance between him and us. We can again use our melee attack to disable the husk momentarily and Caden's throw is also always a good solution. Now we do get caught up in the electric explosion here, but we can survive one of those. One more knockdown and we can get rid of this guy, which leaves the Geth Trooper in the back as the last remaining enemy. Killing him already gives us the Distinguished Service Medal, the achievement for completing Eden Prime, even though we technically haven't completed it yet. Before we engage with the beacon, there are a few things we can do. First off, let's head to the left here and loot a pistol and a light armor out of the crate, then decrypt the storage locker here for a shotgun, a sniper rifle and an assault rifle. Then we can cross the small bridge here and you can already see the small wall safe on the right. That one requires us to use decryption one more time. And gives us some weapon and ammo upgrades. And now we head back, all the way back, to the other side and enjoy a nice little cutscene that can pretty easily be missed. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. And we still don't activate the beacon, because there is one more container remaining on the far left end of the platform. This technician kit here contains two armor upgrades and both of those are pretty nice. And now let's go back to the beacon and see what all the fuss is about. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. No, no, 
Don't touch it. It's too dangerous. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Well, Doctor, good question. But we have some of our own. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Oh yeah, Ashley. Even though it kind of was your fault, we should probably go easy on her. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Well, um, thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. That thing we saw after triggering the beacon, that was not really a dream now, was it? I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Well, I hope so. Um, but I want to explore the left dialogue options. And we can choose all three, so let's start with Jenkins, whose life was cut too short. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Well, there was a lot that went wrong. And why is Ashley now on board of the Normandy? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Well, we won't use her much as a squad mate, but I guess let's have her tag along. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. And now the last and most interesting option. Why did nobody know that there was a freaking Geth invasion going on? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Well, that's not really a satisfying explanation. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Well, it wasn't us who invaded Eden Prime. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. 
Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Oh, but we are so likable. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Mm, not exactly physical evidence. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Okay, we saw the Citadel and some machinery. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. I don't think that's a great idea. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Captain Anderson seems very eager when it comes to humanity's interests, but don't worry, we'll take down Saren one way or the other. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. So looks like our mission is clear. We need to find proof against Saren. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Yeah, we'll do that next time and get our business on the Citadel going. Until then, feel free to check out my channel and if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and show your support. I'll see you next time. Cheers.